Hey guys, it's me Brian, back with back with another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be doing a video on partitioning drives with a Mac and installing GUI maps onto the drive so that you can use it in a Mac. Recently I installed a new SSD, which is a solid state drive inside of my MacBook because my old hard drive broke. I'm going to show you how to do it from the recovery screen and I'm going to show you how to do this from the normal Mac OS disk utility. Now to go into the recovery screen, you're going to turn on your Mac and immediately press command R that should send you to the recovery screen in a few minutes. And then today I, I'm going to be doing this with a flash drive and this is 32 gigs and I'm going to be doing this with another drive, which I can plug up via USB because it's basically the same thing. You just plug it up with a USB, but this one has a 3.0 USB. And my Mac doesn't, but that doesn't matter. They're backwards compatible. They should be fine. Now I'm just going to have to wait for this to load. And so we have loaded into the Mac OS Utilities recovery screen. I'm going to go ahead and plug up the USB drive. Click on Disk Utility. Click Continue. And here we have my drive, right? But if you want to erase and go into the GUI map, you're not going to go to Erase. You're going to go into View and then Show All Devices. Now, this is going to show what the USB flash drive was named before before you named it as yours. And then now you're going to click on the top drive, which in this case would be the Lexar USB flash drive. And I'm going to click Erase. And then I'm going to name it whatever. I'm going to call it USB. And then here we have the format, which is going to be X. Well, I'm going to leave it on Mac OS Extended, but if you want to, if you want it to be compatible with Windows and Mac, which I have a nice big PC right here, Windows, um, then you're going to want to go into XFAT. And um, but otherwise, I'm going to go into Mac OS. And then here we have under Scheme, we have the GUI partition map. Normally you want this unless you're creating a boot drive, but if you're creating a boot drive because the programming will immediately just do it all for you, I'm just going to click on GUI partition map, click erase. When this completes, we're finished. Now I'm doing this on a, and this should load in a moment, and we're finished. I, I cut the editing, so yeah. Um, so there you go. So now it's a brand new drive. You can use it on Mac or whatever you chose to format it as. I'm going to go back into the normal Mac OS login screen. I'm going to log in in a moment, and I'm going to show you how to do it from there. Don't touch the keyboard. I'm just going to wait for it to load normally. Ah, yes, there we go. Now we're in this screen. Well, I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I'm going to bring you back when I bring up Disk Utility. So we are in. There. We, now we can go ahead into Disk Utility. Now this is the exact same application I just used. But if you're on the recovery screen and you don't have an OS loaded, which is the operating system, then you, then that's the easiest way to do it. But if you can, you can go ahead and plug it in. And then as you can see, this is the, this is the drive that I plugged in right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on view. And then it's already showing all devices. So that's fine. I can, I can go ahead and click erase and then the same thing happens. So then I'm going to need this to be XFAT and then I'm going to click I'm going to just type in one terabyte drive because that's what it is. But the GUI partition map is right. But as you can see, this went pretty quickly. And so, as you can see, it works. It shows up on the screen. The computer can open it. Everything's fine. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like or a comment if you feel that I missed something. And now, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.